Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. It's 9.30, the day has started. I have oatmeal, some breakfast, Sarah's sleeping in today. She had a rough night last night. She took this insomnia from me. So, I'm just rocking and rolling on Friday before the weekend begins. <laughs> I got my two cups here to start off the day. I got a cup of Joe in the Splash Mom cup on the right, and my oh, getting up there in age, my water cup from Magic Kingdom. And I have Wall Street Money Never Sleeps playing. Let me know if you've watched Wall Street Money Never Sleeps. It's like the sequel to the, I think it came out in the 80s, the Wall Street movie. Um, I still haven't seen that one yet, the original, but I love this movie for some reason. I don't know if it's Shia LaBeouf, or like the storyline, or what, or like the data behind it all, but it's it was like, it's probably one of my top three non-Disney like binge movies, along with like About Time and Yesterday. So that's what I have in the background as I'm doing my work. Um, interesting Friday, I don't have too many as meeting meetings as yesterday, but I had a big like department meeting this morning where we actually heard from our chief operating officer talking about like the virus and how they implemented resort closures and all that. it was interesting to hear his perspective from top level he's like the person who makes a lot of decisions that happen like closing resorts and opening resorts and whatnot so <sighs> friday hi everybody i am here um i know peter had kind of touched on me not being able to sleep last night i probably went to bed around like four um then i woke up with a migraine and so i slept in until like noon crazy town um so i just finished editing the vlog which was such a fun time for me um putting in all of the clips from the fab 5207 vacation vlog so if you haven't seen that vlog i'll link it here um but so much fun it'll be up soon and then i'm going live on instagram with christina guess who's done with work guess who's done it's with Friday. work Woo. also i forgot to put a clip in that we meant to put in from the vlog so we're going back to Hollywood Studios right now. Absolutely. So stick around, folks. These are the industries we're talking about. Yeah. We're here. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Right here, we got to talk to you right over here. Oh my gosh. Right over here. Oh my gosh. She's just such shy look. It's Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. I tell you, Taylor, first of all, you're looking great in this whole sunflower thing. Daisy. Yes. Are you promoting sour cream? No. Oh. Okay. Well, I have to say, uh, now, we all will. Folks, if you know anything about Taylor Swift like I do, you know that Taylor loves relationships yes. just to break them. Yes. So she can have a new hit song. Yes. Now, uh, who are you about to break up with soon today, Taylor? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> so we're not going to get a, a hit song anytime soon, is what you're saying. Wow. Well, that's, well, that's a first. Who are you currently dating? Who are you currently dating? Oh, look who it is. Oh, do you know who this is? Oh my gosh, from the King of Queens and Mall Cop, it's Kevin Taylor. Kevin Taylor, ladies and gentlemen. Mall Cop, the Mall Cop, Kevin Blart, is dating Taylor Swift. Oh. Everybody said, who knew? Who knew? Take that, TMZ. Bam! Well, one was hysterical. It was. Yeah, what, what do you say about Mall Cop 2, Kevin? It wasn't quite as... No? no. You, did you do it for the paycheck? I, I did. You did? I did. You did. Well, that's cool. So, I do you mind if we stick with Taylor for a minute because she's yeah. the real star here? She is. So, stay right here, Kevin. Oh, so, you, stay, you be her man, all right? You oh, yeah. stay by her side. Uh, Taylor, um, you just, uh, you, you're just you you about to go out on tour again. Yeah. But you, let's face it, your big hit in the last year was Shake It Off. Was it not everybody? Shake it off. Who loves Shake It Off? You love Shake It Off, don't you? You, you got a fan right here. You got a Swifty right here. Yeah, yeah, and I have a Swifter, but that cleans my floors. Okay, so I have to say, Taylor, can you sing a little bit of Shake It Off for us? Who wants to hear Taylor? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> so what? Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Oh, that was amazing. Give it up for Taylor Swift. That's amazing. Wow, uh, Kevin, I have to say, uh, uh, you 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 are the king of queens, uh, but now you've got a queen right there. I do. You, you I do. do. At least 30 minutes. At least 30 
she has a blank space. She could write your name. I just have to say, it's, it's possible. It's possible. So, uh, before you go, I have to ask, why is the camera facing us, Kev uh, Kevin? What are you doing? Are you, what's going on with this thing? This is a self-made documentary. Oh, so you're now a filmmaker. Yeah, I'm a filmmaker now. Wow. Well, folks, let's hear it for Taylor Swift Taylor and Kevin James. Yes. yes, you are amazingly yellow today, and we love it. Okay, we're going to swipe right. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Let's stick around, folks. Oh, 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 Cameron. Oh, I know. Thank you. Look who it is. Who knows here? Oh, my. Yes. 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 Who is it? Tom Cruise. 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 Tom Cruise.
time. Near silence. I hear a bunch of bugs. I hear one ambulance in the far, far distance, but... Silence. Even Park Avenue was silent. So, Peter's on his run now. Um, I've spent probably the last half hour not really meditating, but just like laying in our baby's room and listening to like Pixar scores. Like just, I just put that into YouTube and there was a playlist. And so I've been listening to that. And so that was good. Just like alone, relaxing time. I keep on telling Peter, like we didn't prioritize having a balcony or a patio when we moved because we really didn't use our other one much at our old apartment, if you remember. Um, we were on the first floor, and so it was kind of hard to have Eve because there was no... Oh, she looked at me. She's coming over here. She has to have a clear path to get over here. Right, Eve? You can't go around obstacles. That'd be just too much work. This other day. This sweet little girl has to be right up in my business. I love that, though. I can't believe that this is a change that's happened. Um... But anyways, it wasn't enclosed. Florida's hot. Like, we really didn't, like, spend a lot of our evenings out there because we were always out and about in the parks. And it's just something. I feel like because we are at home now more than we ever have before that I could really use just, like, a patio or something to just, like, get some fresh air but not go out um just get some sunshine like i know i can do that and walk around the block um but i don't really feel comfortable like finding a spot and sitting there is some seating like across the street from our apartment but like again like we're supposed to stay inside so like having a backyard or a patio or something right now would really be wonderful but maybe we'll figure out something this weekend um even if it's just sitting on a curb outside. Um, but I'm just craving that, like, sit and chill um, feeling. Peter just walked in the door. So I don't know what we're going to do the rest of the night. Maybe just relax, watch some Netflix. How was your run? Good. Good. It was a cool breeze. Cool breeze. I was just talking about how we would like a patio now. Like, yeah. we didn't prioritize it because we didn't use our other one much but now this would be a I see time. fancy glass out did someone have a fancy drink that was while you were a nap I had some kombucha Ooh, did you say I napped um I napped for two hours today guys yeah it's like a Brookhart first yeah big deal I'm real sweaty it was cool though but I, I just sweat all the time six miles and yeah, 926 feeling good Got in before curfew. It's 11 o'clock on the dot right now. Wonderful. The funniest thing just happened to Sarah. What? Sarah's watching this super funny but super ridiculous show, Jane the Virgin. I started watching it last year when I would like do cardio at the gym and I'd watch it. And then I stopped and now I'm trying to finish it. But she just looked up, tried looking up something about one of like a character. In the, in the first, first season, because I can't remember exactly what happened, and I read the the series the finale, series finale <laughs> like twist. <laughs> so she knows what happens. At I the don't end. know the whole story. I but know, but you know what happens in the last so moments I'm not of the be show. Like, when it happens. Yeah, that's so funny. I'm so sorry. Okay. Also, Sarah and I discussed um, right before I got cleaned up after my run that we're a little worried. Because I took a nap in the afternoon, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep tonight now. And I'm tired. And Sarah's tired. It's already 12.20. I had the thought of, like, because we go to bed together. Like, that's one of our things. Like, we always do. I'm wondering if, like, we should switch spots and you should be over here on the couch to fall asleep, or if you should just go to bed and I don't. Because I'm like... I want to stay up and read Bob Iger's book. I want to watch a movie. I want to buy Wall Street. It's on Apple TV for nine ninety nine. Issues, my friends, but it's twelve twenty in the morning already. April tenth. That's who you really like. The people you can think out loud in front of 
John Green. So I started having an allergic reaction. Um, so I took some medicine and I'm going to bed. But little rumple still skin. <laughs> He's just gonna stay up for a little longer. I know I'm not going to sleep right now and I didn't take Benadryl just now. <laughs> Benadryl was on my list of things I could take from my doctor. We both kind of have an anxiety about this because we don't. <laughs> I'm like, so I just like go to bed. <laughs> We've never done this. I don't think I've done yeah. before. So, good night from me. See you tomorrow. It's good to be home. I started watching the new War of the Worlds on Apple TV Plus. It's free until May 2nd right now. It's an epics series, eight episodes, a remake of the H.G. Wells spin off of. It's she Wells' novel, um, but it's past three in the morning, so I'm gonna try to get to sleep. Um, Sarah and Eve have been snoozing this whole time. Eve's super cute. She's been doing this thing where she lays next to her bed and uses her bed as a pillow. I don't know, but I love it. It's cute. Um, thank you for following along today's adventures. It is the weekend. Tomorrow and Sunday are gonna be good long, no work days, and uh, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>